Okay, so welcome everyone. I'm so glad you all could make it and have turned out to come to our info session. Um, so I am Catherine Zabo, and I've been at Blythe Academy a couple of years now, and I'm co-hosting with Iksha, who is also an admissions manager. Um, and Iksha will tell you a little bit more about herself um, when she starts hosting. Um, I've actually worked at Blythe for the last two years, and I am a mom of two kids, uh, and they have gone through the private school system. And my daughter is at the University of Toronto now, and my son is in grade 12. So I've been through it all, the agonizing choices and the worry. Um, so Iksha and I are here to help you today and to answer your questions, not just in this info session, but any questions you have this week, next week, or beyond. And we can also put you in touch with any of the campuses for any of the programs that you're interested in. I do plan to talk for, well, Iksha and I together plan to talk for about 20 minutes. And then afterwards, there will be time for questions. And you're free to ask questions uh, verbally, or if you want, you can write them in the chat box. So to begin, I want to tell you a little bit about our story. We were started by Sam Blythe, who gave us our name and always had an interest in experiential flexible learning. Blythe began with travel programs. Our first local academy opened in 2002 in the heart of Toronto. In 2018, Blythe Academy joined Globe Educate, one of the world leaders in private school education with more than 50 schools in nine countries. We emphasize nimble, personalized education. Our focus is building well-rounded students Blythe's Academy's mission is to create personalized learning experiences that inspire our students to take charge of their academic careers. We understand that success looks different for every student. Blythe Academy students graduate with the tools in place for a seamless transition into successful post-secondary academic careers and new ideas that will shape the world. Blythe has nine in-person campuses and two full-time online programs, uh, both a scheduled online program, which is in front of the web camera, and a self-paced learning program. Now, each of our campuses has its own personality. Three of our schools are sports focused, but all of our schools emphasize small classes, the four quad or term structure, which I'll talk about later, and lots of communication. If there is a campus you're specifically interested in learning more about, please let us know and we will connect you to the principal for that specific location. We accept applications at several endpoints during the year for high school students, including September, of course, but then also November, February and April, as long as we do have space. So we've got the February one coming up and we can work with admissions for that uh, right now. In addition to in-person learning, we are also one of the largest online high schools in Canada with 30,000 students across our two online programs. At Blythe Academy, our classes range from six to 18 students, ensuring your student gets the support they need. We only hire the best and we hire every year. We have far more freedom than the public boards. Our teachers care a lot about what they do and they love being in the classroom. They are very committed to keeping open lines of communication with parents as well. They do this primarily by leveraging our online learning and reporting platform, EDSBE, to keep parents up to date on activities happening in the classroom, as well as their child's performance, any successes or challenges that they are having. Uh, so you really have a good sense of what's happening. Uh, my son has been using EDSBE now for four years in conjunction with his teachers, and it's a great program. What sets Blythe Academy apart from the academic delivery at other schools, both public and private, is our dedication to tailoring the learning to the personal needs and interests of our students. With truly small class sizes, teachers have more time for one-on-one -on -one for each student in the class. Experiential learning brings the curriculum to life, keeping students engaged in the concepts learned in class. This style of lesson provides real world experience with students actively applying the concepts they are learning. 
our teachers take advantage of the surrounding communities as an extension of their classroom. This could mean the art class at a local paint studio, the business class visiting a store to see entrepreneurship in action, or the food and nutrition class visiting a local restaurant to cook healthy recipes. You are probably most familiar with a school where high school students take all eight classes the whole year or have two semesters with four courses each. At Blythe Academy, we have a block schedule that breaks the school year into four terms. You may now be familiar with the term quadmesters, a structure that many schools adopted to during the pandemic. However, Blythe Academy pioneered the four term or quad structure. We have been using it since we opened our first school in Toronto in 2002, and we do it differently. Students will take two courses each term. This means they are only managing homework, studies, and deliverables for two courses at a time. It allows for longer learning blocks. I'll take you through what the schedule looks like for Blythe Academy in more detail. Our school day is broken into three periods. The full school day can run from 8.40 until 4 p.m. Each period is two hours and 15 minutes. What these longer learning blocks allow for is not just teaching the lesson. We also have time to apply the concepts being discussed and to even have assessment in the same block of time. It allows our students to go deeper into that learning in each class session. Our nine and 10 students will be in class the full day with academic classes like English, math, and history, or even phys ed in two of the three periods. And Blythe Academy's signature launch pad will be in the third class. I'll explain, or Iksha will explain about launch pad uh, in a moment. When students reach grades 11 and 12, they will have more flexibility in their schedule, selecting classes in just two of the three periods. Most students will be in class in periods one and two, finishing their classes by 1 p.m. Other students might have class just periods two and three, meaning they don't start their day until 11 a.m. This schedule allows for students with different schedules and learning styles. Please note that students in some of our elite athletic programs at select campuses may have custom schedules that vary a little to accommodate sports training. So Iksha, I was wondering if you wanted to start with talking about the Launchpad program. Yeah, not a problem. Um, thank you, Catherine. So once again, my name is Iksha. I'm an uh, official, uh, sorry, a fellow admissions manager with Catherine, and I have been working in the educational field for the past four years. Um, so. Now, just a little bit more information about our Launchpad program that Catherine had talked about in the previous slide. So this program is specifically for our grade nines and 10 students, and it's a year round program for one of their three periods of the school day. So this will take place in period three in the afternoon. Students take part in 440 hours of programming without compromising time on the standard or Ontario curriculum. In fact, students in the Launchpad program will receive an extra credit each year. Um, and it's, there's different themes for each year. So in grade nine, the theme is learning strategies. And in grade 10, the theme is leadership. These extra credits allow for lighter timetables in their senior years of high school and more time to allocate on preparing for post-secondary preparation. Now, Launchpad teaches what schools typically don't teach, how to learn, how to take notes, life skills, financial literacy, social skills, adventuring, and more. The program teacher remains consistent all year, and they are each the student's home base and every parent's go-to. With a careful blend of routine and spontaneity, students find academic and personal success. So some of the example of activities, as you can see in our program pillars, are art, cooking, games, and storytelling. That's found in the fun pillar. Personal goal setting, meditation, and research projects for our self-discovery pillar. Then we also have volunteer work and fundraising as part of the community. And finally, we have like 
we have different activities that promote life skills, such as learning how to change a tire, how to do laundry, and how to navigate in the neighborhood for exploration. Sorry about that. Now, each of our schools at Blythe Academy has its own dedicated guidance counselor, and they pay, play a few different roles. Not only do they help students with course selection and post-secondary planning, but our guidance counselors are also there for students, especially for emotional support. And they will run workshops on skill development and mental wellness. Mental wellness um, especially has been quite important as, uh, as uh, students have been returning back to school from the long COVID break or moving from in-person to online and back to in-person learning again, which can be a little stressful. One of the most important parts of a Blythe Academy education is the frequent communication between the school and, and Blythe Academy families. We do this in a variety of ways. At some campuses, teachers will send an update every two weeks through a newsletter. And each and all of our campuses make use of the software uh, platform EdSpeed, which Catherine had alluded to earlier on, to allow teachers to communicate with both students and their parents. As a parent, you will have your own EDSB account where you'll be able to track your child's classes and comments from their teachers. At all campuses, communication is the cornerstone, cornerstone of what, all, what we promise to all families. Teachers will provide updates to families on their child's progress weekly and will move swiftly to identify when something may be wrong or there may be certain challenges that your child experiences. Um, now more information about mental health. As I mentioned, this has been a very important topic, especially in the pandemic. At Blythe Academy, we understand and support teenagers through all the challenges of the modern world, whether that is recovering from the isolation in our recent pandemic has imposed, to dealing with anxiety, to working with an individual educational plan, or IEP. At Blythe Academy, teachers and staff are here to listen, to understand unique situations and to communicate with families and to help. We choose our students unlike the public school system and we choose students for kindness, initiative, curiosity and being supportive members of, of our community. At Blythe Academy, you will find a very supportive atmosphere. We're also an ideal community for our international students because we are familial personalize and we integrate inter international students with local students, domestic students. One of the best features of Blythe is the hands-on support that comes from our guidance department and team. Our guidance counselors get to know all of our students on a personal level so that no student falls through the cracks. Between the communication between guidance teachers and the parents, as I mentioned through EdSpe and the newsletters that get sent out, our schools are proactive on supporting students who are dealing with mental health issues. Our open door policies and the effort of our counselors go into creating a safe space for our students, which really allows them to come into our offices and really express, express openly how they are feeling. Our guidance counselors are also have been trained on mental health first aid, should a scenario arise at school and have various mental health discussions as a team and within their own campuses. And they also provide support for teachers as well, which has also been very important. Each campus has a list of professionals within the area that we recommend to our families should they need more support or help than we can provide. Now, I, I wanted to go into a little bit more detail about our student life, as you can see by some of the photos here. We cater to the passions of the students in our school, and we offer a great range of extracurricular activities I that it was to about. allow students yeah. to explore some of these yeah. passions. Oh, sorry. There was just a little bit of disturbance there. My apologies. To allow students to explore some of their passions. While the exact list of extracurriculars is specific to each school community, they often include student council, model UN, DECA, outdoor activity groups, eco clubs, and much more. Some of our campuses are also members of regional small sports federations, allowing us to offer intramural sports. And we're hoping to return to that, you know, as the pandemic hopefully wanes down. 
In addition to activities within their Blythe Academy campus, students will have the opportunity to participate in the wider Blythe community by participating in a variety of events that are held for all students across all Blythe campuses. These include a Blythe-wide prom, sports competitions, Model UN, the Terry Fox Run, and more. So a student's journey with Blythe Academy culminates with a focus on pathway preparations in grades 11 and 12. Here, preparing for post-secondary education is the primary focus with increased attention on developing opinions, interpreting information, independent learning, and active participation in our small group setting and our small classroom sizes. As the four term two course approach of grade 11 and 12 mirrors the academic semester structure of many post-secondary education, students are prepared to manage their timetable, use their self-directed study skills and benefit from the familiar round table tutorial system. At Blythe Academy, students are taught to advocate for themselves, nurture a strong instructor-student relationship and be active members of their school. And speaking of post-secondary, as you can see here, Blythe Academy courses, whether in, uh, either in person or online, are recognized by universities across Canada, the US, and internationally. You can see here on this slide some of the many schools our students have attended over the past two years. We are extremely proud of the success our students have achieved. 90% of our students receive first choice university acceptances and 85% of them receive full or partial entrance scholarships. In addition, the majority of our students demonstrate an improvement in their attitudes towards learning and their marks have reflected this academic growth. Credits earned at Blythe Academy, as mentioned again, are universally accepted and highly respected and our students have gone on to attend top universities in their fields of choice. Blythe Academy has an average of one guidance counselor, as I'd mentioned earlier, for every 80 full-time students, whereas other public schools and other private institutions average between 200 to 400 students for every counselor. This really allows our guidance counselors to provide individual attention and relate to our students on a personal basis, providing ongoing advice throughout the school experience and throughout the different grades as well. Our students consistently demonstrate higher than average success in post-secondary education, in part because of our unique programs and outstanding faculty. Guidance counselors at each campus provide individual students with the support and advice they need when it comes to university applications. Now, there are other modes of learning at Blythe Academy in addition to our in-person campuses, and this can really augment your child's current school commitments as well. We typically see students who need to repeat a course, increase scores, or who want to take a course not offered at their current school. And as you can see here, we have options to study with us online, whether it be a flexible self-directed asynchronous schedule or live virtual classes with Blythe Academy Orbit. Additionally, we also have summer school and night school, which will, be, which will begin in February uh, later next month. Um, and we have, we offer this both, and we offer, sorry, this virtually as well. Okay, so now that is the end of our formal presentation. Um, you can always go to our website at blighteducation.com uh, to check out more information about our different programs. Or you can also send us an email, as you can see here, at admissions at blighteducation.com.